When you have pending updates to your Cisco WebEx services, you can provision them in Control Hub. You'll be notified by email that you have services that require provisioning. Sign in to Control Hub. If you have more than one pending service update, you'll see a list of them. Select the one you want to provision from the menu and then click Next. The changes to your subscription are listed in the Subscription Update column. This includes your added services, new license counts, and deleted services. Review your subscription update details and then click Provision. Clicking on Provision will initiate the changes that are displayed on your screen. If there are no changes to your subscription, click Confirm. If you're not ready to implement the changes, click Save for Later. Your update may require some additional information. Review your update and then select Get Started. If you don't want to continue with provisioning your changes at this time, click Save for Later. In the Meeting Settings tab, you'll see a list of your existing WebEx sites that you can apply your subscription updates to. Select Next. Set up any additional WebEx meeting sites as needed. You can transfer an existing site using a transfer code or add a new site. If you added a site, choose where you want to provision and manage it. You can choose Control Hub or WebEx Site Administration. We recommend Control Hub for new sites. If you are transferring an existing site, you won't be able to change where it's managed. After you've chosen where to manage your site, click Next. If necessary, distribute your licenses among your sites and then click Next. If, at any time, you want to go back and make changes before you finish provisioning, you can always click Back until you get to the page you want to edit. When you're ready, click Provision to complete your subscription updates and begin billing. You're ready to go. You can now access your organization's control hub.